It's late morning on Monday, September 14th, and a UP Mix Freight is pulling to a stop to get a new crew. In the lead is a SD60, and trailing is a X Southern Pacific Dash 9, still in the bloody nose paint scheme. After the new crew boards, the train departs. The train will pull to a stop on the main line with a red signal. It must wait to let a short loaded hopper train pass into the siding. Leading the opposing train is the Western Pacific Heritage Ace number 1983. The crew of either train was unaware of the switch's malfunction that didn't set it properly. That malfunction led to disaster. The switch hadn't fully moved and the force of the train had moved it back to the normal when it went across. Both crews had minor injuries and were shaken up from the crash. They were rushed to the nearby hospital. 2215, the SD60 was scrapped after lots of damage to the front end of the loco. 8125, the C44-9W was rebuilt into a CM44AC and renumbered in, into the Dash 9 series as well as repainted. 1983 had its front section replaced and received a fresh coat of heritage paint. First responders were on the scene in minutes and closed Main Street.
After two days, the main line was repaired and reopened. Trains have to travel at restricted speeds and alert cru work crews that they are near. We see a GP38 taking a yard transfer job over to the Papillion Public and Western. After two weeks, everything was back to normal. We see Amtrak number two zooms through the city without any problems. Thank you all so much for watching and for 2,000 subscribers. It means so much to me and I'm so grateful and happy to have all of you on board with my channel. From Union Pacific's headquarter city of Omaha, Nebraska, near milepost 17 on the Omaha subdivision, this is Union Pacific Omaha, out.